There are several ways to plot analog data with Makerplot. We're going to show you two of them right now. Uh, one source is going to be from the Arduino Uno shield, and we're going to generate uh, three analog variables we're going to call X, Y, and Z. And the other source is going to be manually through our log debug immediate window. So let's look at that first. Let's bring up Makerplot. And I've already taken the liberty to preload our standard interface. What I want to do now is come up here to the plot icon and engage the plot icon so it's uh, depressed. That means we are plotting data or could plot data. We are not connected yet uh, because if we connect, that will connect us to our UNO shield. So we don't want to do that at the moment. What we also want to do now is bring up our log debug immediate window, which is a very powerful tool for exactly what it says, logging data and debugging data. We want to clear out our log, the data that was already there. We want to make sure that our analog checkbox is checked and that our scroll checkbox is checked so we can scroll the data as it's being entered. Before we begin to enter analog data, let's reset the plot. We need to do that because even though there's nothing being displayed on the screen, the program is actually trying to plot data, so the invisible cursor here is moving across the screen from left to right. So let's reset the plot again, bring up our log debug immediate data, and let's begin to enter analog data. We're going to enter three channels. Uh, we're going to start with 0, 0, and 0. That will start our analog data. And you'll notice that uh, the log debug immediate window shows those three values directly. Let's start off with new values of 10, 20, and 30 for channels 0, 1, and 2. And we see uh, three lines being plotted. The black line is channel 0, the red line is channel 1, and the green line is channel 2. Let's continue our plotting by keying in 20, 30, and 40, hitting the Enter key. Continue that with, let's say, 50, 60, and 70. And we can do this over and over again. But the important thing to realize is that uh, we can enter analog data uh, into the log debug immediate window and actually see it displayed here directly so that we can actually analyze sample by sample what that data happens to be. Now to get to the more automatic part, let's look at our code for the Arduino Uno. And we're going to, again, start with the three variables we said at the beginning, and that is x, y, and z. We have initialized x to 0, y to 250, and z to 500. Then for our setup, all that consists of is our serial begin 9600 baud, which is going to send the data to Makerplot at 9600 baud. And the way it's going to send it is in our loop, and that is with a, a for loop. Uh, the for loop is going to go from 0 to just under 250, and it's going to increase the x value every time through the loop. What we're going to do here is print x, then uh, print a uh, comma after x like we did manually. We're going to print y minus x, and notice that y is 250, so we're always going to be subtracting x from y, so that will kind of be plotting y in kind of an inverse value from x. Now we're going to print another comma right after that. And then finally, we're going to print z minus 2 times x. And notice that the final print is a print line, which now appends a carriage return after the final z value and that ends our sample for Makerplot. We're going to delay 50 milliseconds and repeat the loop over and over again. So that is Arduino sketch, and um, let's see how it works in real life in Makerplot. Okay, we're going to come down here and reset our plot, and click our rocker switch, 
and now our plotting begins. The black line again is channel zero, the red line is a channel one, and the green line coming from the top is channel uh, two. And those represent respectively the X, Y, and Z variables coming out of our makerplot uh, code. So this is one way to plot analog data. The important thing also to realize is that we can also bring up our log debug immediate window, and we can see the channels of data being recorded as we plot them. Every sample is being recorded. It's going back by pretty fast, but nevertheless, uh, all the channels are recorded. Now let's uh, unclick the scroll bar and unclick the analog bar, and now we can bring our log debug immediate window down and examine each sample individually. And this is an important feature of Makerplot because these are the exact samples that we took for the, for the data coming out of the UNO shield. So I wanted to point out the fact that we can plot data at least from two sources, both manually from the log debug immediate window and also from a microcontroller. Doesn't have to be a uh, Arduino, could be any microcontroller using any uh, programming language uh, you so choose to um, incorporate into it. But nevertheless, the tools here are available for analysis and also for plotting and I'm sure that you can use your imagination to create some interesting analog plots that will um, be much more dramatic than um, what's being shown here.